Hey guys, Jeff with Westcott Designs. So, sun's almost setting. Mike's been here for a couple days. And I think this story takes the cake. I mean, without a doubt, I had, we had one a couple weeks ago that came in from Hawaii, flew into town, went up, picked up his car, drove it back to us. We lifted it, did this stuff. We got, we shared that one on our YouTube channel. But this one definitely, that Mike has, uh, is definitely takes that. So, Mike lives in Maui. Mike flies to Portland, Oregon, picks up his brand new truck from Portland, Oregon, drives down here, goes through two mountain passes, and his not rate, snow rated tires on his full drive truck, and literally barely makes it down here. He says he was sliding out all over the road and the tires weren't rated, and they suggested chains. He didn't have chains because he's from Hawaii, don't need chains on Hawaii. And he makes his way down here to us. Stop, where'd you stop on the way down? Uh, Reno. He stopped in Reno, stayed the night there, right? Yep. Stayed the night in Reno, came to us. We had about 18 hours worth of work to do on this truck. Put 37s on it and uh, pushed the liners back and did some trimming, did a body mount chop on it, did a few other little things to it. Uh, this is a long bed double cap. So this is a long truck. We actually put this thing on the alignment rack and when it was going on the alignment rack, I wasn't sure it actually was gonna fit on the alignment rack, but it did. So anyways, so now Mike is going to take his truck. He's gonna drive to San Diego. He's gonna put on a boat, what's the boat called? Pasha Hawaii. Pasha Hawaii. And then he's going to ship it back to Maui. And then he's going to enjoy his truck over there. So he couldn't get one over there in Maui and they have their own deal over there and their own like way of Toyota doing stuff over in there. It's a whole different uh, ordeal. We actually called to just find out how that all works and it's their own, own little deal out there. But anyway, so Mike's truck's all done. He's gonna drive to San Diego tonight. Tomorrow morning, you have to have the- 8 a.m. 8 a.m. over to them. And then he's gonna, what, 10.30? Uh, 10.30 flight. 10.30 flight. He has to get on a plane and then fly back to Hawaii. And he's all done this since Friday. So pretty crazy that we got to be involved in this and that there's so many other places you could go to and he decided to come down here. I think he bumped his head, but whatever it is what it is. And we appreciate his business and we appreciate everybody's business. But I had to talk about this story and tell you that this is the coolest story yet to have happened here at our shop. So anyways, Mike, thanks, man. I just want to say thank you. Really appreciate it. Thanks for your patience. Thank and you. I know it's getting later and you're going to have to drive over there. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. And it really means a lot when someone's willing to go this far out to let us work on their truck. So truck looks awesome. It's, it's a beast. It's monstrous. Um, I mean, it's big. So I uh, hope you guys can see it. Hopefully the little guy that's actually filming this right now can get it all in there. So again, thank you guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.